And I'm really happy to, to show you DevNope, he's operator in the area of Linux and Unix, and like most of us, he had the feeling that we have to we, we have to make our own work adventure to to get rid of the withdrawn symptoms, and he, he will show you how you can do it yourself. Thank you. So this, this is my talk. So at the moment, the documentation of the work adventure is, is optimizable. Um, I realized that most people have issues with with this. You could you could just automate it and have it a little more comfortable. So based on this, I built something, and now. I think it's really impossible, really, really important to do a talk on this. So, what do you need for my solution? You need a VM or a VPS, a virtual private service that's that's using a Debian 10 host. This is what I felt most comfortable with. Furthermore, you need a domain which you can use and input subdomains. This domain is used. So other people can use uh, can can reach your work adventure instance, and you might need a little basic knowledge of Linux, Debian, and Ansible. So what have what do you have to do? I guess you have a blank Debian machine, and you configure all the domains you have. Welche subdomains genau zu konfigurieren sind, das findet ihr. What kind of subdomains you have to configure? You can see in the readme of the re repository, and I will show you next. And then download the whole repository. In this repository, there's configurations you have to do to optimize the deployment process. For example, the domain you want to use. The room you want to do, you want to use by standard, and what kind of user you want to use to connect via SSH to the host. And if it then use the Ansible playbook, you have this command, and after that you need to reboot it. Some packages are open that uh, that 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 need 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 this reboot, and as soon as the machine is back, you change to the opt work adventure contract Docker file, and then you start Docker. So what does Ansible do in this case? Debian ten is, is up to testing, and the whole system is act is is is, is made uh, late. Um, there's packages that are installed, a uh, user is set up, you can use to connect to the host. There's a lot of security settings that are optimized, firewall rules for example, configs for the SSH, SSH daemon that prevent the root user to connect to, via SSR to the host. These are all measures to make sure everything works fine and you don't have to worry. After that, Docker and Docker, Docker Compose is installed, so you don't have any, many more issues there. After that, you download the Work Adventure rep repository and it's prepared for you. Afterwards, you need a few config files. You don't have to do anything more and to change it and you can start over, right? How is Work Adventure set up? We have each, each, func each function has one container. The main part is the reverse proxy. This is this is made with traffic. It's like a reverse proxy, but this is running inside of Docker and connects to the container. This makes automation possible. 
Some proxies can't do this. Furthermore, Let's Encrypt is installed and you, you don't have to care about that or where you can get the TLS certificate and yeah. Start and Stop is realized using Docker Compose. So, well, some people might think, I'm in a hurry, how can I get Work Adventure running? What I found out was that most difficult is to get the JSON file connected that sets up the information for the TLS certificate, for example. Furthermore, you can have issues with the Docker socket that's not reachable. It should be at least readable, but and I really set it to read only. But it's important that traffic doesn't have to do this. Make sure you have all subdomains configured. Traffic won't start properly if not if this is not set up properly. At the initial start, you need a little time until traffic runs and to to get all the containers running. It might irritate you, maybe. Uh, but the maps? What about that? You can set any map and visit any map you can find openly and publicly. You can set up using the URL. In this marked area, it's the quasi URL to the map. For example, we from the wrong side labor have set this one to the launch launch event for the SC3. Anyone who goes to your host uh, are, are on the same map and you're in a position where you can talk to each other and to in interact. Of course, you can also do your own maps. There's information on the work adventure uh, and other sources, but make sure there's, there's a lot of bugs still and position information isn't inter interpreted properly, so make sure you, you, you keep in mind that you might get frustrated. A word on Jitsi. Jitsi is really mighty. You can use any Jitsi server you want to use and which is reachable for you. I think I think I, I don't want to set up my own Jitsi. Jitsi needs a known VM on an, on your own cluster. Jitsi needs resources. Work Adventure doesn't do this. So if you have have a division of these two systems, you don't need your own Jitsi. Jitsi can be configured in different ways and has a lot of parameters. Generally, this might need a completely own talk, but I won't do this here. So what do we do with the repository? I spend a lot of time in monitoring and in logging. I don't want to focus on Docker compose uh, on, on, on Docker commands. I'm a real admin in this case, and traffic also annoys me. It's kind of difficult to to get it out of the system, so I might I might take a little bit of time for this. And yeah, well, thank you for your for your attention, and you're always welcome to ask me questions. Yeah, DevNote, thank you for the talk. DevNote, thank you for the talk. There's always a little work behind this, which is which is not which cannot be seen in this uh, introduction talk. As soon as we have our questions, people from the stream write your questions into the pad. There's a little question from me. How many people did you show work adventure and how many people did you help? 
Ich denke vier oder sowas mit vier Leuten. I think about four or something. I talked to four people for a longer time. Zu debuggen und Dinge zu tun. And help them debug things and do things. Fragen und weiteres Feedback. I'm always open for questions and feedback and also thank thankful for this. So I want more people to use this. What's the most frequent questions question you get? Why does the container not start? Well, this is basically the summary of it. Sometimes it's a little frustrating to get proper error messages from the Docker. For example, doc uh, traffic and the front end is a little buggy sometimes. These are the containers that are a little bitchy. Klappt das ja irgendwann mal, dass man Maybe ein this might work a little better in the future to get all this information to the people to make finding errors easier. Well, there's actually a few questions from the stream here. First question, what kind of specs should the server have with how, how big of amount of people so I tried it with 120 people and I had the second second smallest version on Hetzner barely needs storage I think it had 10 or 20 gigabytes and the standard VM was there the images are a little bigger it's a Node.js container in the end, you have like 500 MBs or one gigabyte on, on dependencies. But that's basically it. As far as I can see, the usage load isn't that dramatically high. I don't know how it scales with 100, 200 people, but I couldn't test it. I'm sorry. Well, future is long, so the Ansible. Is it is it used locally or remote? I'm using it locally, but even some admins they use a Windows desktop and use the Ansible using Windows, but it's a little painful. But it was easier for me. To put it to the onto the v VM and use there, and this is pretty straightforward. Next questions. Question on Jitsi. I combine two questions. What kind of Jitsi client would you use, and is there something I have to I have to take a closer look at? when I'm doing this. I personally use my own Jitsi, which I set up on a different instance. But a lot of different things are running on this machine, so I'm, I'm, I might want, don't want to talk about load and stuff like that. There's people, for example, who use the public Jitsi from Jitsi, Halt über eine, uh, Umgebungsvariable im, uh, file angegeben. This, kann man, this is integrated using, using a variable. Jitsi Server und Jitsi Räume in den Maps als Properties angeben. Und das geht you can you can also set up Jitsi rooms so using properties. Halt angibt, also man, also das and per area you you're using. It's, it's, it works through layers. And certain layers can have a certain Jitsi room. And you can say, okay, we have a big meeting room and a big Jitsi, which is only there for this. So I can say, okay, special property for the Jitsi server. And this is the Jitsi room and just go. On the other hand, it might be important to say that I had Jitsi issues with authentication. If you have authentication and user management set, set up for this, there might be people who are more have more detailed insight. For my Jitsi instances, I said, okay, I don't care. I can switch off the authentication. But there's a possibility to use J JWT tokens to, to, to restrict the, the use on work adventure. 
so wie ich das Pad beobachte, ein, ein Hot Topic. Alle wollen so I see the pad, it's a hot topic. Um, Many people want to set up a work, work adventure. So But we're running out of time, the slot isn't too long. Just tell us how people can reach you to, to further discuss all the questions. You can reach me using Twitter, at Defnob. Furthermore, I'm in the Matrix room of the R2R. Genau. Also das sind so die primären yeah, well, Ansprechmöglichkeiten. These are the basic das, contact options. Das ist bestimmt auch möglich. It's ja, also possible äh, to äh, GitHub mir da irgendwie noch mal reach me using Und GitHub, for ich example. Dann, dann werde ich darauf entsprechend reden. You can, you can write to me there and ja, I will figure stuff out. Well, thank you, Defno, for this talk Und and the Q&A. Wir sehen uns hier auf and well, we see each other later then on this event, during this event. Mm -hmm.